hey 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 welcome back to another wash day guys this is my moisturizing deep conditioning wig so i'm using my already made concussion like a pre-treatment uh, concussion i have a separate video on how i make made that made this oil and what is in there so i add that all over my hair and the scalp just to soften the new growth and help me to detangle the hair better and also to make sure my hair is not completely dried out when i'm uh, you know during shampoo wash so i wrap that up with my clean film the conditioner i'll be using you guessed it you already guessed that is the queen helen cholesterol conditioner so here are the ingredients just a little bit i know you're not gonna see or if i don't put it on the screen so for those of you who are kind of mineral oil uh, conscious this does have mineral oil as the fifth ingredient it does not bother me this product work for my hair it has done for years and years it's one of my absolute all-time favorite this product is thick it's very thick it's best to be mixed with other oil it doesn't mix very well with other conditioner but it does mix very well with other oil so at this point i'm adding a sweet almond oil to it a bit of avocado oil and a little bit of uh, castor oil just a teaspoon of each I've missed, I missed, I missed a good amount of, I took a bit amount of uh, conditioner out and you are going to see the reason why in a minute. That's a, that's a lot of conditioner. Um, so I apply that in, <clears throat> I mix that up and put it separately in one corner. So I went under the dryer after applying that pre-treatment on my hair. Then I went under the dryer for 15 minutes. I don't know if I've said that. I think I'm repeating myself. So after that, then I'm detangling, which in the end, it absolutely served the purpose. The exact reason why I'm doing my pre-treatment at, at this point in my stretch, I cannot afford to cut corners. So it's all about re reducing breakage and making detangling a breeze. And it did exactly that. So I went under the dryer, detangled. Then, uh, then I'm going to obviously proceed to shampoo this off. New growth is absolute soft like proper soft so i am gonna <laughs> i am trying to make sure i do my pre-treatment before i actually you know proceed to do any other thing i know it's another step it's a pain in the neck but what can you do so there even the little you know type 100 hair that i have it look like the the growth are proper coming out so i'm using the one and only arrogant oil shampoo and it is a surface free shampoo again i am taking this wash day back to where it all begins that is another one of my favorite shampoo of all time that shampoo i have never seen it anywhere in the shop Nenda does that conditioner i have only, only ordered them like in the shop the conditioner himself that queen helen cholesterol conditioner cream um i order it in packs packs cosmetic pack cosmetics when I first started my hair journey, it was it was one pound ninety nine. I think it has moved on to two pounds fifty now. So it's not all rosy, as you can see. I'm dealing with some, you know, still sh some shaded hair that I might have missed. They are still trapped in there. So I'm gonna slightly finger detangle it. I nothing I hate more than detangling, um, applying conditioner on hair that is is just like a mess with with not so by the time i i told you there was a twist to it the conditioner i missed was that much because by the time i finish finger detangling slightly my hair is gonna be a good amount a good 80 70 to 80 percent dry because the them shredded hair were just my doing so as you can see oh, it's almost dry so in a sense i am the i am doing this, this deep conditioner on a dry hair in a sense although my hair is just been freshly washed but now that uh, i have done finger detangling my hair is slightly it's not dripping wet anymore which really i prefer because i believe that the conditioner do absorb more to dry hair than it would on a soaking dripping wet hair so i did this purposely even if i didn't come across a point where my hair is so tangled up i would have still have to maybe walk around the house for a couple of minutes just for my hair to you know dry up a bit 
So at this point, I carry on now to session my hair off. Now I can actually move on to the actual deep conditioning routine. So I'm applying the conditioner on all over my hair. Please, please, guys, if you're watching this, you haven't got my hair type again. Do apply this conditioner mint length to your hair, not the way I'm doing now because my hair is uh, the length is is chemically processed and the new growth is dry as desert so that explain why i need this conditioner all over my hair well that's a sign of relief so i wrap it up with clean film and went under the dryer for 30 minutes is it was it a long wash day yes hell yes it was but softness i was after softness is what i got even my 100 type c hair looked like it has some sort of coils to it <laughs> for a second <laughs> so i proceed to rinse that out i did not realize i could put the camera on in this angle uh, so it works so i rinse that out thanks to the my handy dandy again <laughs> life-saving uh, wash basin so i was able to rinse that out with absolutely no bother so i did and uh, another twist to this wash day is because i'm um i'm doing a moisturizing deep conditioner work right but if i were to use all product that means shampoo deep conditioner moisturizer leave-in if everything is a moisturizing base it's a moisturizing base then my hair is gonna be on a moisture overload side of things if, i don't know if i'm making any sense so to break that up the leave-in conditioner i will be using are gonna be protein base and the moisturizer i will be using will be protein base this is just to balance my hair out a little so the leave-in conditioner i've chosen to use today is the uh, um, cream of nature arrogant oil i've taken it back right again with my mezzani h2o overnight treatment that is another one of my all-time favorites that i cannot afford to use like that often <laughs> so something came up I have to add that Aviv no cut hair hair cream as well as the Aviv uh, uh, freeze free. You see, it's like a heat protection. So those three, those two products there, uh, both the Aviv and the Cream of Nature are protein based. So the Mezzani H2O, that is what I end up moisturizing with. And that oil in the bottle there, that is not the oil in that bottle. The oil in that bottle is avocado oil. So I have to blow dry my hair. Something came up. There is no way I could go out. It's dead cold outside. So I have to blow dry my hair quickly so I could round up this video and get the hell out. So I moisturize and seal my hair. If you want to see more detailed video on how I moisturize and seal, I have a separate video I could possibly link down beneath this very video here so you guys can check that out. So I'm just going to round it all up now with finishing up my moisturizing and sealing and uh, that's it that's it for this wash day i just want to use this opportunity to say a very massive thank you to all my you know supporter people who support my support me and support this channel i thank you all so much without you guys this channel will not be going anywhere so again if you've not subscribed to my channel do take a minute of your time to subscribe subscribing is actually free you know so thank you all so much for watching i will see you guys on the next one ciao ciao